All right, in this lesson, we're going to be doing double reflections, two reflections over parallel lines, okay? Um, so <clears throat> we can start with, I want to start with uh, this here. And actually, this part, this does the, or, does the order we do them in matter, um, it is not two, that's not two reflections. It's, it's a translation, then a reflection, and then a reflection and translation, just because want, we want to first take a look at if the order we do them in matters, okay? So here's an example of a translation, uh, 3, negative 5, followed by a reflection over the y-axis, all right? And so look at what happens. And this is already done for us. All right, so we start with uh, here's a. All right, right here, this is a, and then a prime goes to here. So that's if we do the translation first, three negative five. So see how point a went over three and down five? Okay, every point goes, so here's the starting point over three, and then it went down five. Okay, this point went over three and then down five, okay? So you could see what happened there. It went from the blue to the, to the yellow on my screen. Yours is obviously black and white, but from the blue to the yellow triangle. And then a reflection over the y-axis made it go from the yellow triangle to the red, okay? We just flipped this triangle over the y-axis and it became that triangle. So that's what happened when we did the translation first and then the reflection. Let's see what happens when we start with the exact same triangle, this triangle right here. Okay, we're starting with this blue triangle here. On your paper, it's not blue. All right, but this is the one we're starting with. And if we do the reflection first, so we flip over the y-axis first, we get this triangle. See how these are reflections over the y-axis? Okay, we've done reflections. Now you should know that, right? So you reflect and you are now here. And then you take that triangle and you do the translation of three negative five. But it's from this triangle. So over three, down five. Over three, so get over three to the right, down five. Over three to the right, down five. Over three to the right, down five. Look what happens. Does it result in the exact same triangle? No, it doesn't. Okay, by doing the translation first, you get this triangle. By doing the reflection first, you get this triangle. So you can see that the order does matter. And we're going to talk more about composite functions later on in another lesson. But in this lesson, all I want to do is do double, uh, double, uh, double transformations, OK? So here's an example of how to do uh, a rotation and then followed by a translation of 3, negative 5. Okay, so here we go. Rotation in 90, followed by a translation of 3, negative 5. So we're going to rotate 90, all right? We're going to use our, our uh, rotation rules, all right? So here if A is 2, 8, 2, 8, and based on our rotation rule, we flip-flop it. It becomes 8, 2, but it goes into this quadrant, so it's negative 8, 2. Negative 8, 2. So A prime, that'll be uh, A prime. Okay. And then B is 7, 6, it looks like. So it's going to be negative 7, 6. Negative 7, 6. Or, I'm sorry, negative 6, 7. I'm sorry. It's 7, 6. So you flip-flop them, become 6, 7. So it's negative 6, 7. Negative 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. Negative 6, 7 would be B prime. And then C prime is 7, 2. So it's going to become 2, 7, but it's going to go into the other quadrant. So negative 2, 7. And there is C prime. All right. So if I do the rotation first, if I do the rotation first, this is what I get. A prime, B prime, C prime. Now do the translation 3, negative 5. I'm going to switch colors. Go to green. All right, A prime is right here. And we're going to go to, we're going to do 3, negative 5. That's to the right 3 and down 5. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There is A prime. From B prime, oh, I'm sorry, A double prime, A double prime. From B prime, we're going to the right three, one, two, three, and down five. One, two, three, four, five. And that is B double prime. 
and then C prime, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and that is C double prime. All right, and there is my resulting triangle. So we did a rotation of 90 degrees, and then we did a, remember that's, the rotation was uh, counterclockwise, positive 90 counterclockwise, and then the translation next. And this is our resulting triangle here, okay? Get shaded in if you want to. But here is our resulting triangle, A prime, B prime, C prime. All right, now we're going to do it the other way around. We're going to take the same exact triangle. We're going to do the translation first and then do the rotation. So we're going to translate 3, negative 5. All right, so A, go to red, uh, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's A prime. And then B, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's B prime. And then C, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there is C prime. All right, so we're going to connect. A little bit overlapping, it's okay. All right, and I'm going to write these points just to help us out here. So B prime is, uh, it looks like 10, 1. A prime is, I'm just going to draw an arrow because get it out of the way. A prime is at 5, 3. A prime, A prime is at 5, 3. And C prime is at 10, negative 3. All right, because now with the rotation, it kind of helps us to know the coordinates. All right, now we're going to rotate 90. Rotate 90 from here, 5, 3. So it's going to flip the 3, 5, and we're going to go into the next quadrant, into quadrant 2. So it's going to be negative 3, 5. And there's A double prime. And B, 10, 1 becomes negative 1, 10. And there's B double prime. And then this becomes, so this is in the fourth quadrant. It's going to go up to the first quadrant. It's going to flip-flop and become 310. So 310, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and all the way up to 10, right? So be up here. And there's C double prime. So there it is. So as you can tell, by doing the translation first instead of the rotation first, we get a totally different transformation a totally different triangle so the order will matter okay and we're going to do more with this in class tomorrow see you then